In this video, in what I hope is going to be a quite quick video, I'm going to fit a new gear lever gator and handbrake gator to my Vauxhall Vectra B. Uh, so we, there, there's a hint of how it's held. There's a little cable tie there. So I've got a, uh, yes, I can see a little cable tie down there. Let's see if we can snip that. Easier said than done. Oh, it doesn't really matter if I um, destroy the um, plastic gator on this one. Oh dear. That's really difficult to get at. Uh, i try brute force and ignorance. There we go. That's broken that. Um, I'm hoping it will go over the gear knob because I can't find any way of getting the gear knob off. It doesn't seem to want to twist. And uh, uh, there we go. We've managed that and uh, how does it attach oh it's just tucked in to this plastic base so this might be one of my quicker videos there we go there's the gator off the gator seems no it isn't the universal quite is it it's smaller one way than the other right so the larger is at the front okay that's worth knowing so here is my new lever or lever ish gator so it needs to go over this oh that's a tight fit uh, stretch it over there we go and uh, it's so tight, I'm not sure I'm going to bother t tucking that in. I don't really see what the point of tucking it in is. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it anyway. And just use this screwdriver just to tuck that in there. Try and get it a bit consistent at least. Have I got this the right way around? I'm not sure there is a right way or wrong way around. Uh, we'll see what happens when we're finished. Oh yes, I think you do need to do this just to get the nice bit of tension on it. It's a bit difficult here where it seems, though. There we go, that's about as good as that's going to get. This is a real-time vlog because I'm just leaving the camera recording. But yeah, this is my, um, it's a year 2000 Vauxhall Vectra B, known as an Opel or Holden Vectra in other parts of the world. And uh, it's a, got the 2.2 litre four cylinder engine, despite being an LS, which is a fairly lowly spec. And uh, I'll just get this all tucked in nicely. There we go. That was quite nice. And now uh, we need to try and flip it the other way around and hope we'll get it over the gear knob. You'll see I've removed the um, centerpiece of the gear knob. I didn't need to do that. I thought there might be a release underneath it somehow, but no, it turns out not to be the case. So let's hope this will stretch over the knob. It feels like it probably will. Go on. Yes. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. And uh, now we need to invert that. And uh, there we go. Poke it all the way through. Et voila. What's going on here? I oh, the wrong bit coming out, that's it. So, um, I think it's that way round. Yes, that would seem to be right. Scrunch this down a bit. And uh, it attaches simply by being clipped around there. That seems like I've got way too much. How much do I have on the old one? 
yeah, that's a bit weird. Kind of feels like I've got enough to go around the um, go around it twice. I don't see how I'm going to get that tight, to be honest. Um, maybe it doesn't go that tight. I think it might be better the other way around, if I'm entirely honest. Um, yeah, I think it just attaches there. Or is it further up? Now that just looks weird. Now you've got to, you've got to have access to the lift collar. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I think we're getting to the stage where we're just going to make it up as we go along. So we shall get that in there. Uh, my plan is to try and do it from underneath. So if we get that out there, like that, um, I think I'm just going to run a cable tie around there. There's the ring. So if I bundle it all up, uh, hmm, yeah, that's just. This is not easy. I was thinking this was going to be an absolute piece of cake, and it just isn't proving to be. It's proving to be an absolute pain in the backside. Uh, hmm. I wonder how they did it at the factory. Probably with highly skilled operatives and not useless YouTubers. No, I've missed it. Oh, who cares? Let's just see what we, what we can end up with. And uh, there we go. That's revolting. That doesn't work at all. all right. Okay. That's. Another dead uh, cable tie. That one. That one's gone too low. I don't think I can get that up o over the locking ring. What a horrible job this is! Now I do have to be careful because I really don't want to destroy uh, the new cover. Oh, jeepers! Jobs you wish you'd never started. Is this going to make my Vectra sexy? It is not. I guarantee that. There we go. Another dead cable tie. Let's go and get another one of those. And the next round of misery. Let it commence. Okay, I think I'm getting somewhere. I think that is relatively close to being locked in place. Right, uh, let's just cut that tail off. I've got the knob the wrong way around that. That's cracking. And there we go. Um, I've got one slightly loose um, bit there I'd rather was tucked in, but it's not tucked in. Um, can I get at it from the underside to encourage it through? Oh yeah, sort of. Yeah, it, it's not perfect, Ugh. but that does look better yeah. than it did. Excellent. Right, I wonder what sort of a nightmare the handbrake one is. We shall remove this centre section. And... Does that just pull it in the same way? Yep, there we go. And pull that back through. Oh, that one hasn't even got a cable tie on it. Uh, this is the handbrake one. Oh, this one's stapled. Okay, uh, I haven't got a stapler. 
but maybe I can find a an alternative solution that is relatively neat. We shall find out. Now here's a screwdriver to try and pull the staples out. Oh, this doesn't feel dangerous at all. Now I was sent these replacements by someone very kindly from the internet. Uh, I can't recall who off the top of my head because I'm not very good at arranging the letters, but thank you very much. Oh yeah, maybe I'll just rip it all off. It might be easier. It's slightly less dangerous, maybe. Let's try and get these staples off. There we go. Right, so uh, I need to bear in mind that that is the rear of the um, new one. Uh, where have I put the actual material? There we go. That ran away. So, it's around like so. Yeah, so we do need to find some way of attaching this material just so it stops going anywhere. Uh, I'm going to go and give some consideration to what that might be. Oh, what a palaver. But uh, I think I'm getting somewhere now. Uh, I've got the new gear lever gator in place. I've uh, got a staple in there, don't want the staple in there. Uh, so that's looking fairly smart. I've got the handbrake one on as well. It's not particularly well attached at its base because I've just wrapped a cable tie around it but uh, it's a cheap car I don't really care uh, but yeah you can see the state the old one was in they just break up and look really really cheap and nasty I put the gear lever cap back in a lovely bit of human detritus coming out and uh, I think I'm going to call that done uh, now I've got to clean the rest of the interior to try and make it match that but there you go, uh, it's another one in the long series of videos you didn't think you needed to see. A man fitting a gear lever gator really badly to a Vauxhall Vectra. So I should say, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget you can head to the Hubnut store and buy all manner of lovely goodies. I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Farewell. Oh, you're next, Ellie.